I said I was going to show you what I was doing here. And look at this. Someone very special to me found this at Kmart today. Look at it. It is a Halloween shaped cookie tin. So, I am trying to put these cookie tins, fill them up with these orange cookie dough that I tried making. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see there's still flecks of the food coloring in here. I guess I didn't do such a good job. I see what I did was I mixed the food coloring in with the wet ingredients instead, I mean with the dry ingredients instead of with the wet ingredients. So I've got this two-tone cookie going on here. But then again, well, this is a candy corn shape, so it'd be kind of perfect since candy corn is kind of two-toned. So I'm making this these special cookies in time for Halloween. I can't wait for this, man. This is so cool. I love Halloween. And like last year, I'll be making a video of my Halloween costume as well as my children's Halloween costume. So let's see, we've got, so far I've got the spider web, the bat, the pumpkin, the candy corn, the tombstone, now I'm filling in the cat, and then I'm gonna do, let's see, we got Frankenstein's monster, the mummy, a haunted house, a spider, a bubbling cauldron, and a ghost. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> So, I'm hoping, I've got a whole bunch of cookie dough here that I got from this recipe. Thanks to Food Network. Thanks for the follow, guys. So, this is my own little twist on it. So, I'm trying to make sure these come out right. This is the first batch, and luckily I've got plenty of dough. So, if it doesn't come out right the first time, at least, you know, Kids and I will have fun eating the damaged ones. <laughs> so, I'll be posting another vid Halloween this weekend. So, take care and enjoy.